Hi everyone, Sue from Artcraft and Journals. I have been doing um, something a little bit different to my usual vintage style um, bits and pieces. I, I'm not sure where I saw it originally, but um, somewhere in all my YouTube watching, actually, um, Uni Desiree did some decorated envelopes. So that was one of the inspirations, but there were there were others as well. Um, and it was more to do with doing, I, I think it's called clean style crafting. I'm not 100% sure, but I liked the way there was a mixture of tones of paper and um, there was no distressing or anything like that. It was just a mix of different papers. And the colours of the paper itself was what I guess gave it its appeal. So I've had a bit of a fiddle and a play um, and I've got some to show you and I'll then just quickly go through how I did it. Uh, what they are and there are, these are um, I guess they're like a coin envelope but you buy them from the cheapy shop. Um, they, oh, I think mine was a six pack. Um, and I, I'm not sure if they go that they might be cake bags or something like that But I've this is the back of it to me because it's where the seam is, but I like the idea of being able to turn that down So this is one of them and all they are is just um, Not a collage as such but just a layering of papers and things so I've got a mixture of, of things this one is uh, coffee dyed paper this is um, some printed wallpaper, and I'll show you that in a moment. And this is an, um, a printable as well. And then I've got a little label that I've made. But you can see I've used sort of the white um, with the more vintage style. So it's kind of a mix of things. And there's no distressing apart from what was on the, the paper to start with there. But I thought it just looks a little different. Um, something that I don't normally do so I thought I'd give it a try and I really like how it worked out so that's that one then we have this one here um, now these the printable the lady um, just thinking I think it was Meg's Meg's oh, I'm not sure oh, gosh I'm hopeless at remembering and I did write it down but then I can't find where I wrote it down so I will find it and I'll put it in the description box. Um, she does uh, printables. There's flowers. There's uh, images like this. There's quite a variety of different images. So um, worth having a look and reasonably priced as well. So I will link that down below as well. So again, we've got the wallpaper printable, the image, the and this is uh, music paper, of course, and some little labels. And the little labels I did make myself using um, a word document and the shape you just insert the shape and then change the border to the colors you like um, I've done it before for vintage style ones but these I needed sort of more pastel colors so what I did was I just made a whole page of different different sizes slightly different shapes and different colors that I could use so that's what those are um, I guess it takes a little bit of time but not too much time um, so that's what they are. This is another one I did. So again, now this one, um, the same printable as the others, my label, wallpaper printable, and this here was my, it was an, um, an invoice or something, a vintage invoice that I scanned and then printed out. Um, but of course, you know, if you've got real wallpaper, you could use real wallpaper. You could use images from books, you know, you could vary it up a bit. There's quite a few things you could do. All right, now what I did, I did print. These are, um, I think they're background scrapbook uh, papers, I think they're called. But to me, it kind of had that wallpapery look about them, the bigger images. I don't usually work with bigger images. I prefer smaller, but I really like this one. Um, this one was from a website... Uh, an Etsy store, sorry. Um, her name's Selgan, Selgan, um, and again I'll link it. Um, and this is from the pastel, I think it's Peony, Peony um, pack. So there was that one, uh, a slightly lighter one, and a darker one there. 
So they, I thought they were quite nice, and I've been using those. There was also another ladies that I found. No, I'm assuming ladies. Um, that was these ones here. These ones were AB Illustrations, I think it was. Yeah, AB Illustrations, and from the Spring Blossoms pack. So there's those as well. And there were more than these in the pack. And both were reasonably priced too. Um, yeah, there was quite a few different colours, um, different ones of this one as well. So worth a look if you like, print, if you you know don't mind printing off printables. I've printed them on 200 uh, GSM paper. It's just normal photocopy paper, but it's 200 GSM, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's 200 or maybe it's 180 something like that, but it's a little bit a little bit thicker So I've been using those as well Okay, now the other thing I did have also is my this here is a printable doily uh, That I have done printed and what I did when I when I scanned it I actually um, took certain elements and just made little uh, square or rectangle cutouts of them which I thought were kind of useful so they're the elements from here um, just done separately so I found those quite useful as well so just pop one together this one I've sort of been playing with so you've got the envelope and one of my printables or my scanned ones and just sort of been playing around with it and I think I had this with that one no this one and I thought the blue of the flowers um, sort of went with that being blue and there's also blue writing on here so I thought that was a nice combination uh, of course oh that glue's not going to go very far and then you just glue them together basically very simple. Normally I try to stick to three elements though. And I've, I'm deliberately sticking them down so that you can see bits of all of the papers. Oh, wrong one. And as I said, I think it's the um, combination of the different papers that gives it its appeal. And the idea is not to um, block out too much of of them, just have a bit of variety. Uh, now a label, these might actually be a bit big. Because it's blue I'm going to obviously go for a blue label if I've got any left. Whoops, and there goes one of them. Uh, I think that's probably all we have. I've got that one. All right. So, um, without trying to block out too much of everything else, might, something like that might be good because it takes a bit of from the red. So there's that, mm -hmm. or there's something up here, could go up there. Let me just have another look. I quite like that actually. Sorry, you're probably just a little bit out of shot. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I like covering that. Just that red. I think the red's just a little strong. I think I like that. And as I said, not distressing them. Um, totally just clean edges. There we go. So very quick, very simple. And I do have a couple more here somewhere. Now, um, let me see. I haven't really thought about this one. These are the two pieces I've got sort of left. Uh, now, I did have this. did like this with this, actually, because the pink. I've got the pink and the pink. But I don't know what I'm going to use as a focal image. I uh, thought I had something, but clearly not. Could use that. There is pink there, but I still that seems to me that overpowers the pink. Um, but what I could do, I 
do something like that. Sorry, I'm off screen again. Oh dear. I to remember I'm in the middle of the mat. Um, could do that. Or just simply do that. Don't know. Don't know. Let me just have another play. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll just sit that there for a minute. This one, because it's got that red, I'm thinking maybe that one, because that's got a bit of reddish in it. Okay, yes. Um, I do like this too. Need something in the background. I have to excuse my chair, it's kind of a bit squeaky. Never used to be, but um, it seems to have got squeaky over the last few months. Something like that. Not convinced because, and this might be me just being fussy, but that white and that white, it, it needs something behind it to bring it out. So I'm thinking maybe a bigger, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I don't mind that actually. Now, label. That's convenient. Uh, let's see if we can find that colour in a smaller. I like that. It's just a matter of layering different colours, I think, um, so that they they you can actually see each colour. And as I said, that white on the white to me didn't stand out enough. Now I can't remember how I had this one down. I think, yeah, it didn't stand out enough because it was white on white, and because it doesn't have the distressing around the edges, obviously that doesn't. Um, you know, you can't see the difference there either. So I think that's why it's important that you have the right or the different shades of paper. I really should put something down so I don't get glue everywhere. Yep, now I still have this one with no focal image. I need something. I might have to go and look for something. I do have this still. Did I already look at this one? I think I did and then decided that I didn't like the blue there. Okay, hang on. I've got a thought. What if I tip that that way? That that way. That there. Or... Something like that. Just having a look in the screen. Um, I think what the problem is, maybe I'll swap it for that piece. It has less pink this piece. I think I'll have it. I think I'll do that. <laughs> I think I'll leave it at that. And the difference between these, to me, the reason I swapped it, it's slightly shorter, but it's uh, it's got less sort of pink, I think. I think that's what it was. I, I don't know. Sometimes just swapping the piece, um, you know, your image might be in the wrong spot or something like that. So I'm thinking, although I didn't want to lose, maybe, oh, gee, here we go. <laughs> maybe we'll try this. Ah, hang on. This might be working more for me. Okay, I like that better because I haven't lost that, the pink. I think I'm just going to have to leave it like that without getting too fussy. 
I don't have a smaller one. I like the fact it covers that blue. But I don't like how that's lined up. So, what about... Now, I could cut this, of course. What about something like that, even? Mm, no, don't like that, either. Okay. What I'm going to do... I'm going to just cut, make this a little narrower. And this is how I craft everybody. I sit there and I fiddle and I move things and I decide, nope, don't like it that way. Just take that off. Ideally, this would be a little bit smaller for me, but I'm thinking if I move things just a little bit, I could work with it. Don't mind that. Just this area here concerns me. And I'm just wondering, is there something I can pop there? Just a sec. Oh, my iPad. Every time I speak, my iPad keeps talking back to me. What if? No, don't like that. Okay, this one's proving difficult. <laughs> Maybe I'm being too fussy. Am I being too fussy? I probably am, aren't I? My other thought, I really wanted this one because of that pink, but maybe I'm just going to have to concede that it's not going on there. See, to me that looks better because you've got this area filled. What if... No, I think I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I overthink things and you know I don't get anything done because I'm sitting there overthinking it and debating whether it's actually right or wrong and sometimes it's best not to do that <laughs> now I hope I've left enough room actually Ooh. just have to move that a little bit Push all of that into there. There we go. All right. Now, just looking at that through the camera, that doesn't look like it's stuck. All right. So that's um, just another little idea, something else to play with and do. And, of course, these will pop into journals quite nicely. If you wanted to put them in a vintage journal, there's nothing stopping you just distressing the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or you can prefer, if you prefer more the clean look, um, just leave them like that. And as I said, I will put the links to the, the different printables in my description box. Hopefully I'll remember them all. Um, now, my own printables that I've got, some of them um, will be on my Facebook group in the, I think it's the file section. Um, I'm not sure which ones I've put up there. But some of them I will, I am actually setting up a website with, um, I'm not sure if I'll either have purchasing off the website or purchasing through an Etsy store. I haven't sort of decided yet. Um, I can't decide whether I want to go with Etsy or not because I've heard good things and bad things, so I'm not sure. <coughs> but it is something I am working on. Um, and when I do, I will put some more printables and things there. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.